called this somewhere to give me an analytic insight of what he has done. Hi, Dad. I like that. Hi, Mom. <sighs> Hi, Dad. So, can you put some smiles on your faces? Why? Why is everyone frowning and? Uh -huh. Okay, news flash. I'll be going to Lagos today. I'll be back uh, in a few days. Yeah, it's urgent. So what's happening in Lagos then? I'm going to see Frida. Which Frida are you talking about? The pilot, mom. Oh my goodness, son. Can you drop this? You just want to fly to Lagos to be with Frida and I would not allow that. Mom, why are you protecting her? Besides, she is the one I want. Oh, well, I, I have just realized that amongst uh, the seven maidens, she's the only one I haven't seen. Oh my goodness. Son, please, can you drop this? Alright? Now what are you up to? All you want to do is to fly to Lagos State to sleep with Frida. Believe me, I will not allow it like I said earlier. Point of correction, Mom. I heard she's a pilot and I would like to know how to fly a plane. That's not true. You better stop it. All you do is testing all these girls. Stop it. You want to include Frida to your list. Come on now. Come on. Snap out of it. Mom, that's, that's the wrong information you have. I, Dad, I'm trying to get married, right? Please, Mr. Son, we, we know the web you're spinning. Sleeping with every girl that you see does not make you a man. As royalty, you have a name to protect. You must understand these formalities. But Dad, I never said I was going to sleep with Frida. I said I was going to see her so she can teach me how to fly a plane. I remember, son, I'm your father. I know you too well. Okay, then. I'm looking for a wife, and I shall find one. Not like this.
<laughs> Your Majesty. What is this that I hear? That the prince is sleeping carelessly with all the maidens of, of this kingdom. Where did you get that information from? That is the rumor. They are paddling all over the kingdom. Everybody is aware of it. No. Let me give you a piece of advice. As they will know of this great kingdom and the nesting command to me, warmongers and rumor peddlers are not supposed to be your friend. Where is Prince Zemadabuchi? He traveled to Lagos this morning. I hope there's no trouble. He told his mother and I that he's traveling to Lagos for some special circumstances. In that case, uh, there's no trouble. Uh, Your Majesty, as the Prime Minister of this kingdom, I am mandated by the cabinet to tell the prince to take a maiden, present as a wife before the cabinet. It's getting too late. Oh no, the royal family will make sure that Mother Buchi will be up to task. Oh, I, I, why we are saying all this is, is, is we don't know the reason why he shouldn't have done this before now. Trust it's getting me. too late. Oh no. He will do the needful. That will be okay. That will be okay. Uh, you are the <laughs> the king. So we we, we would never uh, say no to what he said. Uh, since you have said this, Ozi is the Amor that's for uh, So that's not was about it. He will do the need for. Uh, Your Majesty. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm back for my leave. Oh, it's okay. Send me word to your family once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. She do this time around. Oh, okay. We, we need to take her inside and clean her up because she's oh. bleeding. Oh. Let's, let's I take her inside. Hey! 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 Your Majesty, Shalom. what did I know will come to the palace to do? I guess it came because of our son, Prince. Apparently, yes. Have you seen it? Have you seen what I was trying to avoid? A situation where the cabinet will come and ask our son to present his chosen bride. Can you imagine? I practically went out of my way to get seven good maidens for our son to choose from. At least choose good one from the seven maidens. But no, he was busy severing the girls. Now he has gone to Lagos to do exactly the same thing with Frida. He better come back with something positive, otherwise I'll force a maiden on him. Exactly. Let him not think that I'm a weak father. 
I'm highly disappointed, believe me. Imagine decrying my effort to become a West of getting good seven maidens for him to choose one. He couldn't. Instead of my son to sit and do the needful. No, he's busy doing what I don't know. The only thing that will save him is coming home with freedom. Otherwise, he will see a pinch black of me that he had never seen. This is not good. Oh. Yes. I am. Oh. Oh. My prince, where actually did you say you picked up from? What happened? Patricia, you asked too many questions at the same time. My husband, I just want to know what happened to my daughter. Then, what have you done this time? I, I, what I, I was on my way to the airport because I have a flight to catch. And uh, I saw a lot of people gathered. The angry mobs trying to lynch her. I stopped the car and tried to help. They said she stole something. <laughs> Stealing me again? Stealing me again? I beg your pardon? Do you know she steals? Yes, my prince. My prince. We've done all we can. We do not have powers. No solution. <laughs> but is it a habit or... What, what exactly have you done? We've been to native doctors. We've been to some spiritual you know, churches. And uh, we've not found any solution to what she's doing. She steals what she has no need for. It's the issue. Oh. I totally understand. One of the villagers said she stole a single shoe, not even a pair. Yes, a, a single shoe and she ran away. Yes. And they chased after her. It's true. It's true, my friends. She did. We didn't know what else to do. <laughs> so I, I wanted to take her straight to the hospital, but she said she needed to get home first. She insisted I, I bring her home. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Maybe I need to call my doctor. Let's see ways we can help her. Thank you. My world has fallen apart. My life has turned upside down. Shame on me. Shame on me. Shame on me. My prince, did you say? She got beaten up by some angry mob. Doctor, that's a story for another day. Let's just leave here first. Um, Thank sorry. you very much, my prince. You're welcome. You're yeah, very welcome. Thank you. Please very kindly much. take care of her. Mm -hmm. I'll keep in touch. Thank you. Just make sure she takes the painkiller like her earlier prescribed, okay? Do that. Sure. Thank you, Mom. I'll keep in touch. Please take care of her. My prince. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Oh. If not for him, who would have lost her? God, thank you. Thank you, God. Say now, my I pray my son ends up with Frida. So all this can end. That quote is coming from our son's car. Is it? That can be true. He told us he's flying to Lagos. Did he change his mind? Confused. What? Oh, so. What happened? They're supposed to be in Lagos, sir. Something terrible almost happened. What happened? Dad. You need to educate your people. The entire village. You need to talk to them. This is not 1946 for crying out loud. Mom, they almost lynched a young girl to death. They said she stole something. They almost killed her. Wait a minute. I hope this has nothing to do with that thief, Zina. 
I beg your pardon, you know her? Of course! Who doesn't know that thief in this kingdom? She has stolen several times, and she has been locked in this palace several times. What? Stealing is her routine, son. Gosh. This is unbelievable. But that's not enough reason to, to make them attempt murder. They almost killed the girl. Father, it is jungle justice. It is wrong. It is against the law. Father, you need to educate your people. You need to tell them that's why we have security agencies. When someone steals, they're taken to the police station. You don't have any right to kill anybody. You're not God. Wait a minute, sweetheart. Don't tell me you cancelled your three because of that thief. Mom, I just saved a human life. That's more important than going to Lagos. Your Majesty, yes, I think we should banish that thief and her family. Now you will have time for me. Yeah? Well, let me ask you. What exactly did Eve do to you? What did she do that you wanted her out of this family so badly? What has she done to you that you want me to leave her to marry this Onyinye in question? How can a mother give birth and name the child Eve? No, no. The same Eve in the Bible that ate the forbidden fruit that got the whole world into mess. Eh? You know about now I'm Eve. Please, oh. Mama. The name Eve is just a name. She is not the same Eve in the Bible. The name Eve that she answers is the name her parents christened on her. How can they choose such a name for their, for their, for their daughter? Eh? Okay, fine. Enough of this whole front and back. Where is the Onye in question? Let me see the Onye. What are you fear? Why are you talking? Because I promised your father, even on his dying bed, never to allow you marry from outside, rather than this village. Uh -huh. I'm not saying with him. Mama, mm -hmm. when can I see the Onye in question? Uh -huh. Oh, Inyechi! Mama! Bia, 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 come. Come and greet your husband. Okay? Good Mama. afternoon, my husband. <coughs> is, this, is this who you want me to be here for? Is this the only question? Mama, she greeted you. You should just ask her greeting first. But Mama, is this the woman that you're compelling me to live only here for? Is this the woman that is making you to push me to live by Eve? But now, Mama, I thought you were my mother. Why would you do this to me? Yeah. What is all this? What did I do to you now, eh, Oscar? How do you? Body, why are you sounding so irrational? Hmm? Is it because of my dressing? You have nothing to worry about. Another? Once we go back to the city, I'll wear those hot and sexy wears mm. that you will like. Mama, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Mama. Mama. I don't like her. Hey, let her go She's a good girl. Mama. She's good for you. My prince, 
after listening to your story, I believe Zina is suffering from what is called kleptomania. <laughs> kleptomania? Sorry, doctor, what's that? Zina is suffering from kleptomania. That's what makes her a kleptomaniac. Yeah, so my question still remains, what's kleptomania? Kleptomania is a mental illness that has to do with stealing. What? My prince, the victim of this mental disorder often steals items he or she has no use of. Doctor, I concur. Because I had met her parents and they complained she stole someone's shoes. In fact, one of the shoes. One. <laughs> My prince, Zina is trapped. What do you mean she's trapped? My prince, yeah. Whenever the urge comes on her, it makes her to do negative things. It comes like a propelling force. And when it comes, she can't resist it. It makes her to do so many things that she doesn't even want to do. This is a serious matter. Doctor. Doctor. I clearly understand this is a terrible situation. However, I also want to believe that there has to be a cure to this problem. What do you think the cure is? My prince, that was why I said Zina is trapped earlier on. There is no known cure to kleptomania. Doctor, you said it is a mental disorder. So that automatically means it's medical. It's a medical situation. So why are you saying there's no known cure? So how do we solve this problem? My friends, the cure to kleptomania, it's personal. I would have to speak with Zina when she gets back on her feet. You like her, right? Mama, I ask you again. Are you sure this girl has been in this village all her life? What do you mean? Uh, Mama, you don't know what I'm seeing. Mama, this girl that I saw now, her eyes are not in the right place. Yeah. Her eyes are here. Anya Dianante. Hey. What's that? Mama, I'm asking you again. Are you sure? Yes. See, you see all those things she's doing. Eh? It's what she learned from Nigeria movie that she used to watch. Yes. She's a good girl. I don't know what is good for you. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, you know? I know what I am saying. Your whole money and can't follow. I know what I'm saying. If you do not marry this girl, I will kill myself for you. I pray future. I will kill myself. Hey, is it good to know? Here is your food. I specially made this meal for you. <laughs> and I know you like it. Mama. Do you know what? I will wash my hand and feed you, okay? Mm, 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 mm. Let me do it myself. No, my husband, I don't want you to stress yourself. I Let don't like feed people you. feeding me. Mama, you, you didn't tell her I don't like people feeding me when I'm eating. I also don't like. Don't touch me. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. Please, don't touch me. No, no, no. no, I will leave this food and go. I don't want people touching me when I'm eating. Don't touch me. <laughs> you like the name <laughs> after eating this oh, I say I don't like people touching me when I'm eating. Don't touch me. <laughs> you were not new. Eat. 
touch me, don't touch me. I'll be like, oh. Dim after eating this right, meal, you will thank me in a special way. Mm. Enjoy your meal, Obito. Hope you like it. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling today? Much better, Doctor. Alright. You don't need to worry yourself. In no distant time, you'll be okay, alright? When you get back on your feet, there are so many things we need to talk about. But for now, I have to get going. I have so many patients to attend to at the hospital. Thank you very much, Doctor. My prince. I'll see you just with some guys on the outside. Zina, I'm so sorry. I understand how you feel. I understand your pain. But trust me, everything is going to be fine. The doctor confirmed that you're going to be back on your feet in no time. So just relax and uh, I'll come back and check up on you, okay? Thank you very much, my friends. You're welcome. Mom, if you need anything, don't hesitate to tell me, please. Thank you very much. You're welcome, man. Appreciate it. All right. I'll see you some other time. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, my friends. I'm just sorry I took some time in there. Sorry, fine. Um, I really want her back on her feet. You have to do everything in your power to ensure that happens. Of course, yes, absolutely, she will. I think I like her. I don't understand. <laughs> Get into the car, I'll tell you more. swing can you please talk to me 
what is it? What's, what's going on between us? What sort of question is that? Okay, well, it's a question. So, you want me to tell you exactly what is going on between us? We care about each other. And that is going on between us. We love each other. And that's exactly what is going on between us. Are you okay? Oscar, I'm not getting any younger. Why are you letting this disturb you? Why are you getting worked up by this? I mean, you ought to just relax yourself. Come on. Don't tell me to relax. Don't tell me to relax, Oscar. I am losing my mind. Hey, 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 hey. hey. You don't have to. We've been in this relationship for a very long time. And people are beginning to talk. They're taking me for a fool that I've been in this relationship for years and no, no, nothing is coming out of it. Babe, listen to me. You're paying attention to these busybody people in what they're saying? Whereas you're meant to be focused on us. Stay focused, that's the watch word and not what the people are saying. Oscar, this ring has been on my finger for roughly four years. Why are we not getting married? I know it's my ring. I know we are engaged. But just give me some time, I'm trying to sort out some How things. much time do you need? Babe, please don't let this get to you. I just need some time. I've got some things to fix out for the both of us. You know, you keep saying you've got some things to fix out. And you're not letting me in on it. That's because I'm a man. I mean, it's not everything I can tell you, but I just want you to know that there's no way I can leave you in this lifetime. I can't leave you. Just get me. I'm dealing with some things. Please. Babe. Oscar. Yes, sir. Is there something you think I should do? Is there anything you're not telling me? There is nothing. Trust me. Baby, you're crying. Is what's the issue? What is it? Nothing. I'm fine. Trust me. I love you. You sure? Yes, I cross my heart. I, I can't go this journey of life without you. It's not what you're thinking. There's no one else elsewhere. It's just you. drama queen I saw out there. Is that the kind of woman you want me to marry? I can't do it. Oscar. I've said this before and I will say it again. Oya is doing what she learned from Nigerian movies. 
Mama. Uh, Besides, uh, she she she's trying to be romantic here. Uh, 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 eh? uh, 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 Mama, ha. can you leave Nigeria movie out of this? This has got nothing to do with Nigeria movie. Mama, that's one I saw out there. Don't tear eye. Hmm. Mama, I know them. Which Mama, one of about tear eye? Mama, only forever. Her eyes are torn all to the back. Mama, she's pretending to be what she's not. Can't you see? She does not behave like one who has never left this village. I know in here very well. Her mother is my vice in CWO. What about me, feeling? Mama, her mother could be the vice of CWO, but that does not guarantee that her child is well raised. It's just a status. It's a societal status that she attained. That does not mean that their kids are well raised. Mama, listen to me. That girl looks like one who has spent her whole life in the city, only to run back to the village to pretend to be a good woman in search to find a husband. Mama, I know what I am saying. Mama, I have seen these people. I know them. It is not true. Mm. Mama, I am saying this now. You will not take it. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Mama Pico, just allow me to marry Eve so that I can put an end to all this brouhaha of marriage. Pico. Chukwajo. Not while I'm still alive. Emmanuel. Mama, I do not want to gamble with my emotions. Mama, I have been with Eve for seven good years. We complement each other. Mama Pico, no. Rap on Eve. Please. You will not marry that Eve or whatever her name is. Oh. Eh? How can you tell me that you want to marry Eve? The same Eve that made Adam to eat for forbidden fruit in the Bible. Mama, eh? Mama, you're mistaken. Hi! Mama, Eve is just a coincidence of name. Mama, I have said this to you countless times. The fact that she answers Eve does not mean she will act the same way the Eve in the Bible behaved. It's just a coincidence of name. Mama, that girl is a good girl. Can't you see? Biko, permit me to marry that girl. Mama, just imagine. You know it will be so hard to find a woman that is going to play out the kind of sacrifice Eve has played into this family. She has done everything possible just to prove her infringing love for me. Please. Why would I abandon a woman I have spent seven years with a woman who has made such sacrifice for me and the family. Mama, that would be so wicked of me, Pico. I'm begging you. Master, she will let you live with it. The long relationship must not end the marriage. Yes. Eh? Pico, I don't want you to marry her. Huh. I promised her forever. I promised her that I would be with her till the end of time. You promised her. And what did I tell you about that promise? I said to you that you will never marry that girl. You will never marry a girl from that part of the world. Or if you Mama, but she's an Igbo girl like us. She's from Igbo. The only difference here is that she's from a different state from us. Mama Pico. <laughs> you will not marry her. Women from that side doesn't stay under their husband. They always want to be the head. That side. No, 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 no. You can't marry her. Mama, Mama. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Eve has done to you. But I want you to consider my happiness and let me marry that girl. Please. No! Over my dead body. Not why I'm alive. Oscar, Emmanuel. You won't marry that girl. Mama, how's Zina? She's a lot better, my friend. She's getting better, better, right? I'm okay. happy to hear that. Can I see her? Why not? Share <laughs> friends. Hi. You're welcome. How do you feel? I feel better. I can clearly see that. You're responding to treatment, aren't you? Yes, I am. That's good. Thank you. Happy. 
You're very beautiful. <laughs> Are you going to flatter me now, my friends? No, come on. I'm not flattering you. You're actually the most beautiful girl I have seen in a while. The most beautiful girl with the ugliest character, you mean? That's not true. It's not your fault. No one has the right to judge you. Okay? I don't know, I, I just feel as though my hands are crossed. No. You're totally wrong, Zina. You're not cursed. Speaking about your situation, I had... I had a conversation with the doctor. We spoke extensively about you. Yes. Okay, which is... The doctor confirmed you are kleptomaniac. Kleptomaniac? So, kleptomania is a mental disorder that is responsible for stealing. That means the Divya was right. As saying her problem is neither spiritual nor woman. No, it's not spiritual. It's, it's a medical problem. The good thing is he sounded very positive about her situation. He said, we can put you under medical watch for a while and trust me, you're going to be fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, my prince. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't feel like living You're welcome. You have nothing to worry about. and legacy as promised. Why? And I just noticed that you leave the palace frequently to God knows where. I'm asking you where. Mom, I was rushing to tell you that I found the right woman for me. Yes. Um, the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. She's well behaved, very cultured and uh, you're going to like her. Besides, I have not met Frida. She doesn't have any right to, you know, complain. We've not met before. And whose fault is that? So, I don't want you to continue misbehaving all in the name of looking for a wife. That is not the way we were raised. And you are not raised that way either. If you and Frida have decided to walk down the aisle, then there shouldn't be that reason of her complaining of not keeping in touch. She must understand some basic things in engagement. I'm telling you. Father, I'm in touch with someone else, not Frida. Excuse me. Yes. Who is this person you're talking about? That which clan is she from? Her name is Zina. Are you sick in the head? No, Father. So, among all the beautiful maidens presented to you earlier. God. You chose a thief. A common thief. She's not a thief, Dad. Life is about love. Love is the true meaning of life. And I'm in love with her. Yes, ma'am. Will you keep quiet? What is the matter with you? Nothing, Father. I don't want you to say a word. No more words. No comment. That she's a good girl. Oh, please! Can you keep quiet? Is he alright? Yes, Father. Yes. Boy. Yes, ma'am, I'm fine. Surely. You see, she just has a medical condition that, you know, with time, she's going to get better, so 
I feel like we should, you know, not judge her or try to discriminate or try to put her away because, you know, it could be anybody. No, could shut it. Me. Mom? Yes, surely suffering from his so many. Sir, need some rest. Father. I said shut up! Don't say a word! But I love her, that's the thing. I just love her. And Can you close your mouth? Sorry, Mom. God. That she's a good woman. Yeah. Why are you crazy? What's going on? What happened? The queen was here. The queen? For what? She came to warn Zina to stay clear of the prince. Stay clear of the prince? That the prince will not marry her for anything. For any reason at all. But the prince has not made any positive intention as to marry Zina. Zina, has he ever proposed to you? Papa, nothing of such. He's not mentioned anything like that. You need to see the slap she gave to her daughter, right and left. Slap? The queen? The prince does not have much time left. I don't know why he's still wasting too much time to present his choosing men into the cabinet. They are waiting for him. Well, um, <clears throat> we're still looking out for a good medic for him. You know, it's very important. Oh, that's true. Well, last time I was there, he told me that he traveled to Lagos for his, some special uh, circumstances. Oh, so it seems. Come down and tell me the name of the demon that has possessed his life. Your Majesty, is it that he has lost it or he's about to lose it? Because as far as I'm concerned, he will never, never will he marry that thief. Mother Abuchi! Where are you? Mother Abuchi! Your Majesty. Why the rich? Huh? What is our uh, queen talking about? The son wants to marry Zina. What? No, oh, that cannot be true. Why, why would we even talk about that? Why we have uh, beautiful maidens around here? I, why is he mingling with it? With a common thief? Perhaps your presence will make a difference, you know. Huh? Your Majesty. The cabinets will not accept his choice. They cannot accept that. You know, we have a lot of beautiful medicine in this kingdom from reputable families, eh? from pure background. I know. Go in there and talk to my son. Eh? How can I?
I've not heard from bus car since the last time he came here. Should I call him? No. I'll just check his timeline and see what's going on with him. Igwe issued an order sacking me from local government work. No, no. Tell me it's not true. Why? Why would he do a thing like that? I think it has to do with uh, the prince's insistence on making Zena his chosen bride. No, 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 no. Why? What haven't we done? We've pleaded with the prince to please leave our daughter alone, but he bluffed. What do we do? I want to go and see the local government chairman myself. You think that's the right thing to do? Let me tell you my own side of the story. Mm. If you ask me, I think the Igwe told the chairman to sack you. But why? Why? Igwe. Why could he do something like that? It's not, it's not fair. My salary from the local government is what we feed on. How are, you, are we going to feed now? How? All I know is that my God will not allow my family to be put to shame. God, you see it and know it all things. My family will not be put to shame. God is God. Don't worry. Come. Let's go. You still have your girlfriend portrait in your house. She's not just my girlfriend. Who is she then? She was my fiance. You are crying. You won't understand. If it was my life, she was the reason I I didn't go to jail. Prison? How? Oh. 
I'll tell you a story. I was living with a friend by the name Tony a few years ago at my old apartment. One fateful day, I left the house to find my daily bread. Only for me to return. And I met Tony on the ground in his pool of blood. What? Tony was that. He was dead when I came. Upon investigation on what could have led to that incident, my neighbors said that Tony came home with a prostitute and they had issue. I guess it has to do with money. The prostitute stabbed him with the scissors and left Tony to die. Did they find the prostitute that stabbed him? <laughs> she escaped. They did it. After she stabbed Tony to death, she made her way out. I later invited the police to the scene. But you know how the police works, yeah? They accused me of committing murder because the incident happened in my own apartment. I was going to jail for what I A crime I did commit. I was in I was in trial for eight eight months. I was waiting to be sentenced to prison. But if she Yes, she <laughs> If sold her father's only piece of land just to make sure that I don't go to prison. She sold the man's only piece of land that led to the death of that man. She couldn't behold the fact that she was going to watch me being sent to prison for a crime I did not commit. <sighs> My love, you still haven't given me an answer. What answer? An answer to what we talked about. My princey, I am tired of all of this. Like, I'm tired. Of all the girls in this town, why have you chosen that one person that has been tagged a thief? Why? Sina, it has to be you or no other person. You don't understand it. You don't get what I'm saying, my friends. I am a thief. Like, I steal. No, you're not a thief. You just have a mental disorder. All right? Fine. Because of me, your father has made life miserable for me and my family. What are you talking about? 
What do you mean? My father was fired from work today. In all thanks to Ivy Sylvester, your father. What? He took away that one job that puts food on our table. My father did what? My praise, honestly. I am grateful for everything you've done for my family and I. Okay, thank you so much. But at this point, I just need you to stay away from me. I am not interested in marrying you. I don't want to marry you. Please. Zina. I'm sorry about your father. Eve practically took care of Mama. The eight months that was behind bars. Her father died because of this. Yes. Up until now, her family, her mom, her siblings haven't forgiven her. Because they said she caused the death of your father. Why do you have to leave a girl that sacrificed so much for you? Mama. Oh, Mama. Mama was the reason I did not marry Eve. She rejected her after everything. Mama said she would take her life if I ever go ahead in marrying Eve. And I had no option because I don't want to lose her. You see, it is true that we lost our father very early in life. We lost our father in a motor accident and she has been there all through. I'm truly sorry. So what are you sorry about? I I thought you you wanted to get married. I'm only putting myself in her shoes. She must have really gone through a lot. You see. One thing is certain. The truth will always prevail. I never knew my mother was such an ingrate. I never knew that Mama was such an ungrateful human. You should have reconciled with her and her family before getting married. I did. I tried a few times. I went to her family with her to see how I can reconcile this. But the extent the family would never even let her cross the gate. They don't want to set their eyes on her. Simply because they believe that she killed their father. I really feel for her. Does she know you're married now? I... I don't think she knows. Because it will break her heart. Do you really love this girl? What I feel for Eve is beyond love. What I feel for Eve is beyond the comprehension of man. Eve was my life. 
does it make any difference right now? After all, um, I'm with another, so it doesn't make any difference. But when I go into my shelf and reviewed my solitude moments, one thing kept pondering within the realities of time. Would she ever find a place in her heart to forgive me? Father, what have you done? And I will do more if you don't put an end to this madness! Father, I'm very disappointed at you. Issuing an order that Mr. Clement Onoha should be sacked or fired from his workplace cannot stop me from getting married to his daughter. Really? Yes. I love her and that's the woman I want to be with. That can only happen in your dreams, son. Now the earlier you call Frida on the phone to get acquainted with her, the better for you. Mom, I'm not interested in Frida. And what is that supposed to mean? I'm in love with Zina. The same Frida you wanted to fly to Lagos to be with. Hmm? Mom, I'm in love with Zina and she's the only person I want to be with. She's the best woman for me. Oh no! We are your parents and we know what's best for you. No, you do not know what's best for me, Mom. Zina or no other woman. I'm sorry. Can you hear yourself, son? This boy is under a spell. You see that, Mr. Clement? I will teach him and his family a lesson in this kingdom, and I mean every word. Our son has gone bananas. Her Majesty, I had to rush down immediately. I got your message that you wanted to see. Me. I sent for you. Is there any problem? Are you aware that? Prince Madabuchuku is about to make the greatest mistake of his life. The kind of mistake that would jeopardize what the royal family stands for. Well, um, Her Majesty, I have to be honest with you. I do not have an idea of what you're saying. I mean, what mistake is he about to make? No, I swear to me, you don't know what is happening. I mean, if I know what is happening, why would I be asking? Honestly, I don't know. Aren't you aware that your friend is about to marry a thief? A thief? No, I mean, no, now. Why would the private prince descend so low and get to a thief? It doesn't make sense. I'm not aware of this. And who is the thief you're talking about? Now, how many thieves do we have in this kingdom? Uh, uh, I think there's only one popular thief well known in the kingdom. Uh, oh my god. Zina? Of course. Oh my god. I mean, why would the prince want to marry a thief? Knowing fully well that there are so many beautiful maidens that he could make his choice from. Prince Madabuchi has even threatened the king and I, saying we must not marry another maiden for him except for that thief. Can you imagine? This is quite serious than I thought. This is... This whole thing doesn't make sense. Of all the women in this kingdom, how come a thief? Well, I think at this point I need to talk to him myself because this doesn't make sense. It's not adding up. Why would... Why would it be a thief of all women? Zina, a popular thief, well known. Now you listen. I'm expecting you to talk to him. And you're going to do that. I will. I mean, he's the heir apparent to the throne. 
the future king of this kingdom. My prince, you got all this for us. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nothing actually. Thank you. You've done well. All these things are nothing. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, Papa. You know, I'm aware um, you lost your job at the council, so I made it a point of duty to, you know, provide for you people the little I can. Yeah. This is not little. Oh, one full bag of rice. Eh? Hey, this present in Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my friends. You're welcome. Uh, well, Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much, my You're friends. welcome. Uh, we're still waiting for the doctor to come and speak to Zina on uh, those things you say he was going to do. Uh, oh yes, I'm in touch with the doctor and uh, he'll be coming to the palace to brief us on um, Zina's situation. Yeah. No longer here in the house, but the palace. I think the palace is a lot better. Yes. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Uh, Papa. Uh, you can hold on to this in case you need to buy anything for the family. Hey. Yeah. All these for us. Oh, yes. Oh. Aha. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's okay. My God will bless you. He will answer your secret to yes. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you so much. You're very blessed. Amen. Oh. 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 My friends, thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. Oh. And Papa, I was going to tell you that I have spoken with the authorities and they promised to give you back your job. How? Oh. 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 This God. My friends, thank you so my much. God will bless you. My God will bless you. Bless you. All your secret prayers must be answered. Oh, thank you. Hey! 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 Hmm. Yeah. My friends, I must say thank you to you. Thank you so much for everything you've done for my family ever since my dad lost his job. I'm so grateful. You're very welcome, Zina. Did you forget I'm responsible for what happened to your father? I mean, he lost his job because of me, so I have to do what I have to do to ensure that I put smiles on your faces. I mean, it's not everybody that would do what you just did. Honestly, you're a good man. Thank you for your kind words. Zina. I am in love with you. I want to marry you. Together we can rule this kingdom in the future. My prince, do you think I'm fit for all of that? I'm a thief, remember? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. That's funny. I want you to pay the entire royal house of visit. Can you do that? Sorry, who? Me? Yeah. No, my prince, I can't do that. I can't do that. Your parents have given their stance on this. You will just put me to more trouble. That's what you want to do. I love you. With all my heart. Zina, you are the woman of my dreams. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want you to be my queen. And most importantly, the doctor is coming over to educate my parents. They need to understand that kleptomania is a mental disorder. It is not a lifestyle. And that way, they would accept you. My friends, I, my friends, this whole thing, I'm confused, honestly. This whole thing is sounding somehow to me. I don't know. I'm confused. You don't have to be confused. 
Do you know why? You have found favor in the sight of the gods. And you are the chosen one. Yes. Allow me to make my choice. I know what I want. What's up, man? Okay. You didn't come with your wife. Hmm. My wife is busy with her online classes. You know the tutorial that she's been taking. Oh recently. yes, 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 yes. I remember you told me about that. How's that coming up? Well, um, except for a few lessons here and there, she's been complaining. Though that wasn't what she was expecting. But what, what can we do? That's great. Good luck to her. Oscar. You're staring at me. Is that something you want to talk to me about? What is this that I'm hearing about you planning to set it for a thief? I beg your pardon? You heard me right. What is this that I'm hearing about you setting it for a non-criminal? You need to watch your language, Oscar. And yes, you heard right. The truth is, whether or not she is a thief, I'll get married to her. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. I don't know if you're familiar with this saying that it's only the mirror that will always tell you what a friend will never tell you. You're my bosom friend and I will tell you the truth. Right. I don't think it's right that the hair apparel to the throne of this great kingdom will be settling for a criminal of a wife. It doesn't make sense. Oscar, people who live in glass houses do not throw stones. Yes, I know that. Were you thinking right when you left your girlfriend of seven years to marry a village girl? Okay, um, I think I like that question. You see, there are things that inform our opinion in this life as humans. The things we read, the things we saw, the things we experienced and who we are. Right. Circumstances that surrounded me leaving my ex was something that has to do with life and death because my mother was in the picture. Good for you. Now listen, this conversation is on different ground. You are the next king of this kingdom. Everyone from this kingdom will be looking up to you as their king. Are you going to oblige such a magnificent throne with a criminal of a queen? Does it make sense? Oscar. Zina is going to be my wife and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Zina or no other woman. And if I don't marry Zina, I'll rule this kingdom without a queen. But you and I know that it's not possible. Because before you can ascend the throne as a king, you must present a queen. And the king's men will be waiting for you to do so. Watch and see. Watch and see. Watch and see, my friend.
What is yeah? it? Um, I just want to get to know you, please. You want to get to know me? Why? Why do you want to get to know me? What is it? Please get the hell out of my room. Um, okay, my name is um, Andre, aka Obina Kweze. Yeah? So what's your name? You are so unbelievable. Really? Of course, telling me your name will not hurt. Hmm? What do you want? Uh, what do you want now? I just want to get to know you more. Alright? You want to get to know me? You want to get to... I know you. I know men like you. I know your type. But you know what? You will tell them that you did not see me. Uh, look, you sound so pained. I, I can actually see it in your eyes. But I want to promise you that I am a different person. Probably you, you've you seen a lot. Hmm? You're going through a lot, but can you hop into my car? All right, I, I'm going to take you to wherever you want to go. I should hop into your car. Drag me now. Uh, Drag me now. Carry me and put inside your car. No Kidnapper. Come on, get out of my phone. I just want to get high and then do some dirty things with you. <laughs> oh, babes. Mm? That's your mumu husband, self. You mean, say, since he married you, he may know what you do for this house. Stella, huh? leave my man alone. Oh. Leave my marriage alone. I've told you this countlessly. Hmm? Let's just get high and then I'll take you to the mall and back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, babe? I know. And you are the best. Of course. The sweetest thing I've ever heard. Sugar. <laughs> And I will give it to you so hard. Trust me. Really? Of course. I can't <laughs> wait. You know what? I can't really wait. I have a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Surprise? Yes. I want my dad be. Just wait. Let me go and get it. Really? Yes. All right. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah! <laughs> wow! You got this show. Sure. You like it, right? I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh. So let's just get high, then mm -hmm. after which we'll enjoy ourselves with this. Yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling it. Oh. Mm. Okay. Get down. Come. I'm not sure about this. But I'm sure. Why? I don't know, but I feel like something will go wrong. Hey, listen to me. Nothing is going to go wrong. I'm in charge here. Okay? Let's go. What is she doing here? I'm not. Mom, 
mom, we're getting married soon. So I thought it wise to bring her over so she can get familiar with the palace. That's a good idea, isn't it? I hope she's leaving this palace today, Cass. I am not willing to stay under the same roof with a thief. Beg your pardon, Mom. Mom, you need to watch your language, okay? That. That's my wife to be. You can't speak to her in that manner. This silly thief will steal your father's crown. And before you know it, she will steal his staff of authority. And she will steal all of us away. Mom. I do not want that. Mom. Hey! Mom. You are a day dreamer, so you better wake up from your slumber because I'm not going to allow this happen. Mom, stop embarrassing me, please. Did you say embarrassment? Let's go. Now hold it. I will not allow you into this palace because I'm not willing to look for my panty panties. You will not steal my brat. Okay. Hey, you will not even steal. I will not allow it. Not even a toothpick. You will not steal. Okay, let's go through the back, all right? Let's go through. Come, come here. Through the back? Let's go. I've got too many chickens there. How many are they? I think. Five, six, seven. My goodness. Having a thief in the palace is another thing. Hey! You cannot just sit here and relax like nothing is going wrong in this palace. Please calm down and talk to me. What is the problem? Is it not your son? What about my son? He has returned to this palace with a common thief. What? Of course! This is a thunderbolt of Jupiter. Now, Your Majesty, with all due respect, I need you to come throw this girl away like a piece of trash that she is. Else! I will do something that every one of us will regret. And I'm not kidding. So, 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 suffering from a mental defect called malady. This infatuation is getting too much and I must do something to stop it. I'm sorry, please. I apologize on her behalf. Mother, I want this young girl out of my palace this minute. Right now, I want her out. Father, that's impossible because she goes nowhere. What? Yes. You young girl, now get out of my palace and go back to your father's Stay house. Stay where you I are. I hope this is clear. She goes nowhere, father. You, listen to me. I don't want to see you anywhere close to my son again. Yes. Have I made myself clear? Yes, you Now get out. Father. You need to stop. She is the chosen one. What in the name of Amado are you talking about? A thief cannot be a future queen of a dodgy kingdom. Father, you have to watch your language. She is not a thief. She only has a mental disorder. She's kleptomaniac. You can't say that. You have to wait for the doctor to come. The doctor has the final say. He has to educate you on what you need to know. It's obvious my son is mentally deranged. Love on the beautiful teeth When you find your soulmate Your soulmate Can you please say this of the There is no food in the house. I don't understand that there is no food. You knew very well that I went to work that by the time I'm back that I'm going to be hungry. Can you please give me something to eat? I just said, there is no food in the house. How can you say there is no food in the house? So what you do from morning till night is to press phone. You're always on your phone. So I'm not allowed to press phone again? This has got nothing to do with you pressing your phone or not. But when I was leaving this house in the morning, you were on your phone. And now I am back to my own house. You are still pressing phone. Baby, you should know that I am taking some online classes. I see no reason why you are complaining. You are not the only human who is taking the same tutorial classes online. What you ought to do as a good wife is hence I have returned and I have complained that I am hungry. You should leave whatever you are doing and go to the kitchen and help me fix something. That is the right thing to do. I should leave what I am doing to go make you food to eat. 
<laughs> are, you, are you serious right now? I go out from this house, I leave this house every morning just to get something to put food on the table and the woman I left at home is busy pressing her phone for money tonight? Oscar, if you are desperately in need of food, why can't you go in there, freshen up, go to the kitchen and make something for yourself to eat? Besides, there is no law that says that it must be a woman that will make food for her husband. Stop disturbing me, please. So this is what the feminism is all about. So this is what the, 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 the agenda, the feminist agenda that you prepare all the time. This is what it entails. Oscar, I am your wife. Oh yes, I know I'm that. You're made. You should accord me some respect. You, you have, you have the moral, the moral audacity to, to talk back at me when you know that all you do in this house is to press your phone for money tonight. Let me have the phone. Oscar, Oscar, the, give me my the, phone. I am not giving. I'm not giving this phone. I am not giving this phone. This is the reason you have felt in your duty as a woman. I leave this house every morning to get food for us to eat. Then all you simply do is to press phone for money tonight. And you want me to patronize you? I will not do a thing like that. I am not your maid. You are not my maid. I am your wife. You are my wife. And I leave this house as a husband to provide for you. So you should sit up to your responsibility and not make excuses on your phone. I don't know if you are aware that there are so many men out there who make their wife breakfast on bed. Listen, sit down here and let me throw some sense into you. There are so many men out there who make breakfast for their wives on the bed because their wives are doing the right thing. Nobody will celebrate a useless and irresponsible wife anywhere. Oscar, let me have my phone. I am not giving this phone. Give me my phone. I said I am not giving this phone. This is all you do. I don't know where you are ranting. Go make food for yourself. Stop ranting. Let me have my phone. You. Give me back my phone. Wait. You're watching porn? Oh my god. Is this a tutorial class that you attend online? You're watching the apex, the Rubicon of demonic affair. Let's be honest. Oh, baby, you should know whatever thing I'm doing there. I'm doing it for us, baby. You're watching two women have sex. Maybe it's not what you think. This is the apex of demonic affair. Don't you know that? I'm learning sociology so that I can know how to handle you well on bed and at least take you to cloud nine. You should know, baby. Okay, I'm doing it for us. Did you say cloud cloud nine? Yes, baby. I just. Okay. Oh. How did you know about Cloud 9? Because you are supposed to be a village woman. You are supposed to represent a woman that I picked from the village. So who taught you about Cloud 9? Oh my god. What is going on? It's not what you think. Besides, I didn't even know how I jumped into that video. Hey, hey, enough of this. By the time I return to this house, then if I have other things to tell you, then you will hear from me. Let me fix myself something to eat. Baby, I cannot be married to a woman like this. Are you scared? I told you, I don't even know how I got to that video. Father, you need to relax. You need to calm down. She is not your enemy. She's a good person. She only has a problem. The doctor is coming to, to explain everything to you. You need to relax. Sir, how do I make you understand that stealing is usually associated with genetic cases and not with medicine? What's the sense of bringing a doctor? With a case we know that she is a thief, a known one at that. Father, when the doctor comes, he has a better explanation to give you. Just relax and wait for him to come. Well, I give you a bed for that. Until the doctor comes. Good. You like orange juice? Mm, I think I do. <laughs> really nice. So I I brought you here to, you know, get some fresh air. Mm, yeah. You like it here? Really nice out here. Good. Okay. Oh, I need to call Dr. Morris. Okay. He needs to know you're here now. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, just give me a sec. Uh, he needs to know you're here. That's fine. 
Hi, doctor. Good day. How's work? Uh, fine. So, have you seen her? Oh, she's uh, she's doing very fine. She's right here with me in the palace. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. I'll just sorry. Okay. Hey, Dr. Maris. Oh, yes, I'm good. All right, we're respecting you. All right. Hi, Doc. All right, so uh, I'm expecting you. All right, thank you. All right, see you. Bye. Yeah. Hi, Mom. I don't know what you guys are up to, but believe me, whatever it is, it would not work. Because the last thing I would do is to accept this local thief as my daughter-in-law. It would not work. Oh, you think I'm kidding? Mom! Hey, 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 you better keep quiet! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Mom! Now what do you want to do, sir? You want to hit your mom? No, go on and hit me! Hit me now! Because of the thief! You haven't seen anything yet. I will keep frustrating you till you get the hell away from this palace mom. and return to the pit of hell where you came from. Hey, one more word from you. I will hit you! I'm still your mother. Rubbish. Listen, I I apologize, all right? I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to clean you up and we're going to pretend this never happened, all right? Don't think about it. Don't do anything. Switch off your emotions. I promise you I'll handle this. Come with me. Face. <laughs> You're the guy from the other day, yeah? Oh, yes. I'm the one. Oh, well, sorry, I was actually coming from a, a supermarket over there. So I, I had a glimpse of you and decided to start. So, how are you? Okay, so now that you have found me, can you leave so I'll continue with what I'm doing? Oh, are you going to chase me out again? Um, Mr. Whatever. I'm a very busy person. Please leave. <laughs> I guess you've not seen a stubborn person before. I'm not going to leave this place until you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here is your case then. Oh, yeah, please. No. What, what are you doing? Don't do that, please. Don't... Sit down. Really? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Eve. Eve? <laughs> What's a beautiful name? Oh, Miss Eve. Has anyone told you how beautiful you are? Thank you. <laughs> With your cute little smile. Stop hiding it. Alright? <laughs> what can I do for you? Just 
update tonight. Please. My wife is complaining bitterly of her Akamis. This is the first time something like this is happening in my palace. What? My crown. And my scepter. What? Even my crown too is missing. How are you? I'm fine. Do you have anything that doesn't belong to you? Did you take my mother's beads? She is looking for them. She's downstairs trying to tear the entire palace apart. Do you have them? Do you? Show me where you kept them. It's okay. All right. Show me where you kept them, okay? Where did you keep them? told the prince that I would love to speak with the royal family in order for us to talk about what this beautiful soul is going through. What Zina here is going through is what in medical terms we call kleptomania. 
and the victim suffering from such illness is called a kleptomaniac. What is kleptomaniac? Your Majesty, a kleptomania is an impulsive disorder, a mental illness that when it comes, it comes with an irresistible urge for you to steal and what you are stealing is what you don't even need. And this occurs mostly in women. So, what is the medical cure for this? Your Majesty, there is no particular cure to kleptomania. But talk therapy and some medication may help end the cycle of the patient stealing. Um, you talked about therapy. Can you highlight what you mean? Can you throw more light on the use of therapy? My prince, there are therapies that can be used, which are the cognitive therapy, the behavioral therapy, and the psychotherapy, and others which I didn't list above. All she has to do is that whenever she has the urge to steal, she should hold her breath until it becomes very painful. By doing so, the urge to steal will leave immediately. Um, doctor, what you're trying to say is that whenever the urge comes, I should just hold my breath for a long time. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Zina. Whenever the urge to steal comes, all you have to do is for you to hold your breath until it's very, very painful. Then you release yourself. Then you breathe in. By doing so, the urge to steal will leave immediately. Thank you, Doctor. Zena. Yes, Your Majesty. With all sincerity, we apologize for being irrational to you all the while. I have no grudge against the royal family. Well, that's fine. As for your father that was retrenched, based on my instructions, I want to tell you that um, he will be called back to office. Oh, thank you so much, oh, Your no, Majesty. No, no, no. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes, sit up. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> 